Hey guys, CookieFinager.com here with Carlos from Texas Instruments DLP, and we're here taking a look at uh, the Pico projector on tons of different devices and smartphones. Uh, so can you tell us what's going on here with this one? So there's several different Pico projector devices here that are all accessories to different Android phones. This one in particular is uh, the Optima PK320 that just launched or is about to launch. It's hooked up to this Android phone, and what people can do is basically use the HDMI output okay. to play games watch videos, do apps, share photos, what have you, and uh, make it a more shareable experience. Okay, so this one is playing Need for Speed Shift. Uh, this is the Droid X2, right? That's right. Okay. So what's the uh, max resolution this thing can support? Uh, 720p is the max resolution. Uh, some of these range from wide VGA or VGA right. to 720p or wide XGA. Okay. Um, does there, uh, is there are there any compatibility issues when it comes to certain phones? Uh, will certain phones not work with the Pico projector, or what kind of limitations are there? Yeah, the phone de definitely needs to have HDMI output. Okay. Uh, most of these uh, Pico accessories have HDMI in with a mini USB or micro USB. Mm -hmm. But um, really, the phone just needs to have some way of outputting the video. Okay. Uh, and this is available now. Some of these are available now, such as this PK320. Uh, and how much does that retail for? This one retails for somewhere between $200 and $300. Okay, are there any lower end models you guys have, or like any affordable units? Yeah, so there's several different units here that uh, go below that. This one, for example, is a product that actually has not launched yet. It's just a hardware okay. developed by a company in China. But when it does, what it, it'll do is plug into any iPhone mm -hmm. and project whatever you want to output from that iPhone. Okay. This one will probably be a much lower price, uh, have a much lower price. Than this. And that would only be aimed for, some, for iPhone users? That's right. Okay. Similar to this other device, which already launched in Brookstone, mm -hmm. it's an iPhone sleeve that has a built-in projector in it. Right. This one's going for $229 right now in Brookstone stores, just okay. launched. So Black. is it up to uh, manufacturers to make uh, like cases like these compatible with their phones if they wanted to make say uh, you know like a projector case for their phones would they have to do that themselves or do you guys just randomly choose a smartphone to, to uh, that's up to them so okay. yeah we would supply them with the technology which all of these projectors have right. it's the DLP chip right here okay uh, which has uh, hundreds of thousands of microscopic mirrors which look like one mirror but right. each one controlled digitally to create the image okay Another device that I wanted to show you that's becoming a trend mm -hmm. is uh, the Pico projector with the built-in Android operating system. Oh, nice. So this one here is from a company called FTF in China. Uh, it's using a USB dongle mm -hmm. that allows wi uh, wireless uh, remote, remote nice. control here so that I can play Fruit Ninja. So, so is this kind of like the Wii Remote with the motion sensing or is it using light, uh, light it's technology? It's actually more like the Wii Remote. Okay. So and what is it receive like? What's uh, receiving the signal from the remote? Uh, this uh, that, Wi-Fi dongle right here. Okay. How does it know like what direction you're swinging it and what you're trying to do with it? Uh, when you when you turn it on, you plug this guy in. You turn on the projector. As soon as you turn this guy on, it'll calibrate. It'll calibrate to where your device is pointing and where the image is located. Okay. So right now I'm going to start playing a little bit here with some Fruit Ninja. I can get pretty far away from it too. So this enables the user to make it a more uh, group experience instead of just a personal experience on, right. on, a, on a small phone screen or what have you. And uh, so this box, could this be used like as an Android set-top box operating system where you could like hook up a wireless keyboard and mice and watch movies and all that sort That's of That's exactly right. Nice. And what's this little guy over here? The robot? Yeah. <laughs> the robot is basically, uh, it has a projector built into it. Let's see if I can turn it on for you. Here. Oh, so, so it projects the image back there. Okay. It, it also allows you to uh, build in things like, it can be watching your kids, so it's got a, right. a mode where you can have a video. Uh, so basically, 
kids can dial their parents wirelessly or the, the parents can be remotely watching their kids with right. a little video camera that's here. And then the kids can also learn from it or uh, play different games with the projector projecting in the background. Nice. Uh, and that's all the Pico projector stuff uh, made possible by, oh, look at that. <laughs> And that's a little bit of extracurricular activity that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> uh, that's a Pico projector made possible by TI uh, DLP Technology. Quickfanger.com here with Carlos Lopez. Thank you very much.